Hey, hi everyone. This is Admin from Admin365, and today we are going to talk about the places where we can disable the multi-factor authentication, which is turned on onto the user's account. So let's get started. So multi-factor authentication is turned on either from the Office Admin Center or from the Azure Active Directory. So in the Office Admin Center, uh, you just have to go to the Office Admin Center, Active Users section, as you can see, Users, Active User, and here is the option where you see multi-factor authentication. This is the first place. Uh, you can go here and then you can select the user whom you want to disable it uh, you will see an option which is enable for the user whom you want to disable it if you see it here you can just click on the account and disable it from here but if you don't see the user account as enable and it does receive the prompt to enter the code or set up mfa uh, it can be possibly enabled from either of the two option which is under Azure Active Directory. So let's go to the Azure Active Directory under All Admin Centers option. Once we are here, uh, uh, the option, the second option where we can enable it is via the conditional access policy. So if you have the Azure P1 license, uh, you will be able to set up Azure conditional access uh, it could be the reason why you have the mfa turned on but uh, if you don't see any policy under policies and if you see this grayed out uh, then it suggests that this is not the place where it is turned on from so this was the second place where the mfa can be turned on it can be turned on via the conditional access policy for users and admin accounts uh, if you don't see any policy here or if it is grayed out for you, the other place where we can enable the MFA from is under uh, properties. So you will have to click on Azure Active Directory, then properties and then manage security defaults. And if you have this turned on, that is the reason why you are having the MFA on the user account and the admin accounts in the tenant. So you just have to turn it off from here. Once you turn it off, the MFA will eventually get turned off for the user in the tenant. If it is not enabled on the first place and the second place, this would probably turn it off for your accounts. So that sums up uh, these were the three options uh, or three places in the office admin center or the three places in the office 365 where we can enable the mfa from uh, if you have any question you can drop it in the comment section or if you have any suggestion you can let me know as well and till then you have a nice day bye bye take care